If you are trying to lose weight and you've tried all the diets out there and read all the books but have still had no success, watch on because this video is for you. Today I'm going to be explaining why learning how to lose weight from popular books won't help you and if you stick around to the end I'm going to be explaining how to fix that. Plus also as a bonus I'm going to be explaining why this is the same reason hypnosis often doesn't work for weight loss as well. So when I type weight loss book into Google, I get 741 million results. That's crazy, right? And obviously that includes articles about books as well, but that's still a lot of results. So this tells us that weight loss books are really popular. So why is almost 70% of the population still overweight? The unfortunate answer is that books just don't help people lose weight. And yes, some can help in the short term, but they often end up failing after that. And as a side note, I'm not pointing out any particular books in this video. It's just general advice about all diet books out there. Right, I love nice ways of explaining things, so I'm gonna jump right in. The human self has four levels. The physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Let's quickly explain those. So the physical level is our skin and everything under our skin, so our whole body. So that's our organs, our blood, connective tissues, muscles, all those kind of things that make up who we are. The mental level is our conscious, logical thinking part of the brain. So this is where we do intellectual thought, learning and things like that. The emotional level is the subconscious survival part of your brain that deals with emotions, deals with feelings, deals with beliefs and values, and all the subconscious things. And the spiritual level is the higher self and the connection with things outside you. So the universe and religion, if you believe those kind of things. Now, really important to understand, to solve a problem, you need to solve that problem on the plane that it exists, okay? Weight is on the physical plane, it makes up your physical body. Now reading a book is on the mental plane, it's the learning and thinking part of your brain. So just reading a book and having more knowledge about weight loss is not gonna make you lose weight. You have to take action in the physical plane too for it to work. And there are also aspects in the emotional plane as well. So things like beliefs and values. And I've also talked before about the unconscious mind and how it dictates up to 95% of your actions. And unless these things support your goal, you're gonna be pulled back in the opposite direction with much more force than you can apply with your willpower. So my point here is that you need to solve your problem on the plane that influences it. Just reading a book on the mental plane is only gonna be part of the puzzle. And a couple of problems with reading a book, for example, on the mental plane is number one, when you learn about weight loss, you feel a bit better because you feel you have a solution and that can take some of the pressure off and stop you actually taking action in the physical plane. And number two, there's also information addiction. So reading a book can feel safe because you don't actually have to take any action in the physical world to learn. So this can actually cause the mindset of, oh, I don't quite know enough to get started yet. I'm just gonna read another book or do some more research. And this can actually cause huge procrastination. And stop the video, I'm really interested to know, have any of these things actually happened to you? And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe as well. So these planes of human self and influence are really important to cover and take off when trying to lose weight, and any goal for that matter. So to make sure you are covering them, ask yourself the following questions. Number one, what main plane does my problem exist on? And number two, what other planes may influence that main plane? And number three, what can I do on each plane to be as successful as possible with my weight loss? And if you want some help with this and get my answers, just click the link in the description below and I'll send them over to you. Now, I also mentioned hypnosis at the beginning as well. After learning what you have done so far in this video, can you guess why it might not work for a lot of people for weight loss? Let me ask you, what plane does hypnosis act on? I'll give you a couple of seconds. It's the emotional plane. Hypnosis talks to your unconscious emotional part of the brain and it tries to act on beliefs and values and other things that might be holding you back. That's great, but on its own, it doesn't magically make you lose weight. You still need to take action on the other planes as well, like the mental plane, for example, learning about how to do weight loss, and a physical plane, the action, so the diet and exercise you're gonna do to get the weight off, and anything else as well, like your water intake or how much sleep you're getting. So you can see that understanding this is huge. So if things like books or hypnosis haven't worked for you, it might not be their fault. It's probably because you just haven't got the other planes of influence covered as well. And also to do something extra, have you ever been reading a book and it gives you something to do, but you don't do it, you continue reading? That's exactly what I mean with this. 
you're continuing in the mental plane, but you're not taking action in the physical plane. And as you're still here, I have a free bonus for you. I have a free video training on overcoming the three major roadblocks that help my clients lose weight for good. If you'd like that, the link is down there in the description below. And as you're still watching, you might find this video interesting.